Well, the shop was established 1948. Not by me, I was in the um, Air Force at the time. Uh, I was dealing in um, records long before I took over the shop. So I attract people, mainly theatre and film. But that is my um, niche um, stock, if you like. They were filmed in gorgeous Technicolor, not this wishy-washy colour stock they use today. It was, the colour was rich. Christmas for last, Kira Knightley came in. Um, we were chatting to her for about 30 minutes. I had to sit down <laughs> quick. <laughs> oh, oh gosh. Rock groups come in here. Radiohead has been in. Brian Eno. I, the BBC, I've done a bit of work with. And there's my last shop. Queen's Road. Very aptly named. I just proposed to my wife. She said, no. Well, you girls are all the same, aren't you? Keep them dangling on a thread. My mother had bought me a record player. This it was a piece of classical music. It was terrible. <laughs> An analogue recording which is taking it back to its basics, is the way we talk and hear ourselves. The brain does not identify a digital sig um, signal. Well, they took um, tape recordings of birds and went to the forest, shall we say, and they played them and the birds responded. Digital recordings, the birds didn't recognise it at all. There was no response. Oh, it's a natural sound. I don't think anything will ever replace the LP or vinyl. It's a beautiful artefact to have when you have a lovely cover design. It's like an on-running art display. Happiness. There's so many people doing jobs. Well, they're round pegs and square holes all the other way around. Some days I feel, God, do I have to get up? And, but it's uh, discipline, you know, which I um, really am glad to have. Well, I'm indulging in my own fantasy that many people would love to indulge in. Oh, God, it's my life. <laughs>